Friday, day before opener of the split, we're heading to one of our old stomping ground areas, a little closer to home. I'm trying to get out here to see some light birds early, about 20 minutes away. Hopefully we find them. West wind, 17 mile an hour. Hunted here two weeks ago. It's ready, it's ready to get out of the house. Clive Ronnie. This lake's at full pull. That's why I came here. And uh, yeah, I'm about to see what it's about. Oh my, I'm clamped up. Look at this shit. Six hundred and seventy yards. Yeah, because there was flooded all before. Oh. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah. stuff to do I get it I'm here by my lonesome and a buddy of mine I haven't hunted with in a while and my buddy Jacob the film guy he might pull up on him yeah anyways found some yesterday it's pretty good hike in there as always but, uh, we're gonna give it hell and see what happens it's hunting they're here one day gone the next but if we can shoot some mallards I'd be stoked so uh catch you on the next one you betcha Go fast. <laughs> a little bit, it's a good sack. Yeah. This is the one if I get tired, I just leave the shit. This is my walk in decoys. Alright, lead the way somewhere. Oh, you want to check out the hole? Oh, I'm just trying to see what it looks like. You enjoyed your walk? Oh, hell yeah. Got sweaty and hot. It's deep right here. Well, how deep is it? Pretty deep. Put some light on it. What you got? Kind of misty. Can't see no! God damn, he scared the f out of me. I just saw a beaver. I hope you got that on camera. Oh. <laughs> I was just thinking about a beaver again. That motherfucker rubbed against my leg. God damn it. <laughs> That's all he can throw it. Look. 
That's it. Get him. That's when you shoot them. Right in the neck. Aim for the head. Wait, Reed. Reed. on my wiener. Oh my god, you went all the way in. All the way in. Oh. Yeah. All of them. Dude, you are so... Yeah, I know. Oh, dude, I fell in. You know when you fall in deep? When there's a damn baby crappie right, yeah, in your waders. That's falling in. It's time to get a fire going. Try this sucker out. Crappie. <laughs> That's crappy. Pack it up, Sims. We shot two men. We would have shot a three man in five minutes. We would have stayed down there. It was just super thorny. Sounds like a belt. Things got a bearing. I think I broke a dry shell. It's got some teeth that go like, like uh, on the lower unit. No, it's the same one I've had since 17. So met up this morning. Uh, had about a 600 yard hike, I guess. We had we had to do some creek crossings in and out so on the way out we got uh, got a little bit turned around across some creeks i think sims almost fell in a couple times i fell in and when i opened my waders back up i had a damn crappie in there so i got a little soaked but you know sometimes go get a you know a big wad of mallards like that you got to go where people don't want to go so you got to hike and uh, that's what we did today i think that's what really kind of sealed the deal on all these i think we uh compared to everybody else we probably smashed them pretty good I thought we got here a little bit late, but you know, Michael Sims, he was like, nah, man, we got it. We, lo and behold, we turned the corner and there's another boat sitting there. And I was like, oh yeah, I got the hole. But I don't think they were willing to do that kind of walk that we did. So once we got there, nobody there, we set up a little bit deep, of course, but birds working perfect. And then on the way out, had a few boat problems. So getting the tow back in, I'm gonna get back to the shop break this motor down, order another drive shaft, 
get that slap back in for the next hole front. These guys are going to go ahead and move on. Uh, I think they're going to move on north and see if they can keep finding some birds. So. What's going on? Look at this, dude. I'd be Oh my god. What do you do? How'd you find us? I knew you was gonna be here right before prime time. You looking good for the morning, dude? Man, it is right now. It's supposed to drop down about freezing tonight. I don't know about the wind yet, but they're out there right now. So we're gonna do a wind check and see if we can get Mr. Reed feeling better over here. What you think, Bumble? Mm -mm. Oh, I think just look any reason, just either A, come out here before shooting light keep our headlamps off or at least pointed at the ground <laughs> or come out here <clears throat> 10 minutes after 15 minutes after shooting time when you don't need any lights set up take your time look at these other than the journey getting ready to go hunt scouting but watching this can't get better I mean, look at this. I'll see y'all in the morning. About 7.30 when we're done at the diner, we'll come out here and shoot one or two. Hopefully. Sims and all day, Jacob went up uh, the evening before we all could go up and found pretty good amount on a place we have access to. Sam was heading up from where he lives. Yeah, so it was a, it was an exciting weekend for me. I mean, it was my first hunt back with the guys and, and I was just excited to get back up there with everyone and hadn't seen them since last season. So it was good to catch up and of course get in the woods with everybody. But, um, so we crashed at his place. I think we got two, three hours worth of sleep, woke up and, and drove a few more hours uh, to meet up with the guys. And man, I mean, we pulled up, you know, everyone's getting ready, uh, get out of the truck, and uh, I mean, we're two, three hundred yards away from, from the woods, and man, you could hear those mallards in there going crazy, so I was, I was pretty juiced up, uh, thinking, man, if first time back, this is going to be a good one. A lot of motion is going to be the key, and obviously getting hit, so we're going to try to load the hole up pretty good. Just have jerk tracks. You can tie it. You got one. Hold oh, this one. Does this one do? We all need one. What? Yeah, that's you. Roll it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. there. I think it'll be good timing. Yeah. It's uh, 7.34 by the time we get settled in. 7.45, 7.50. Big groups about 8.30, 8.40. We'll see. Sun will come up, bring this fog off, we'll come back, we'll get to killing. He actually used the morning as kind of like a little scouting trip, to be honest. Saw where the birds wanted to be exactly, let the fog lift, regroup, brush blind. In the meantime, when we were uh, 
going to grab some food and brushing blinds and stuff, uh, Sims had to run Reed, his dog, to the vet. Um, Reed caught a thorn in his paw the day before and his leg swelled up and whatnot and looked terrible. So I wanted to be safe and go get that looked at. So Sims ran, ran Reed to the vet. Uh, they got him taken care of, so went back out there and figured out exactly where we needed to be set up with the wind and whatnot. Ended up, the hide was perfect. I mean, we had a pretty much a wall of uh, buck brush that we all tucked up in, cut us each a little lane up in there and all got hid. Um, good cover on top, sun was at our back and they didn't see us all day. After all the, the miles and money we put into scouting and trying to find them this year, that really, that's what made it all worth it. Uh, I think there was six of us, shot a six man. Um, Sam got to come up, he hadn't got to hunt with us this year at all, so it was good. They were ready to go find some this weekend. I missed uh, the hunt you just watched. Uh, just goes to show every chance you can, if you can swing it, go. Even if you're not sure if it's blind, whatever, just go. Um, you never know what you're gonna miss if you don't go. We got done shooting them and we all uh, breasted them all out, cleaned the birds and uh, headed back home and uh, start the work week. My dog got injured pretty bad. It bummed me out, but I thought he was okay. It didn't swell for a while. Overall, we had a good little hunt in timber. I ended up having to take my dog to the vet uh, about an hour or so away on Sunday, emergency vet. As they were setting up for the evening, um, I got back around 2.30. When I was walking in, ducks started flying. We sat back, that's all it took. We finished strong. So you win some, you lose some. We gotta give some to receive some, it felt like, but we ended up shooting some finally. It was just how we did it, it worked out. 
we stayed there they came back and we finished strong so appreciate y'all watching this check us out on the next one